everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. I've got a special guest. <laughs> this is my husband, Keith, and we are neck deep in getting ready to go to the Houston Quilt Festival next week. We're leaving, what day are we leaving? Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. We're leaving Wednesday, and we're going to take the motor home and go to Houston and then we're not going to be home until the first and so i'm going to be in the show i will be at uh the all brands brothers stage thursday friday saturday and i'm doing demonstrations of simply applique at 4 30 and then on sunday at 12 30. but keith's going with me he's coming in he's my camera guy <laughs> right oh i am yeah yeah you're the camera guy He's all excited about going. He's so excited. You want to meet people. Because, so he's been on camera once or twice before. But uh, this is the, this will be the first time he's going to be in person at a show. You ready to meet everybody? All your, I'm ready to meet everybody. All your Seam Ripper girls. Seam Ripper girls and girls we don't know yet. That's right. That's right. So all of you that have purchased his Seam Rippers, I'll put a link right up here to him in the shop making those things. We're all excited about it. He was really adamant about getting the motorhome ready to go because we had jack down problems and he replaced them all himself. I'm so proud of him. He's so handy. I took a video of how that was done too and I'm going to edit that video and get it out probably either the week of the show or afterwards or something whenever I've got time. But. Um, Anyway, so if you guys see Keith running around at the show, stop him, say hi. He'd, he'd love to meet you guys. He's quiet now because I'm talking. You want to yes. say something? Sorry I'm behind on making extra seam rippers because Becky has been doing everything else around this house. <laughs> you just got a new... Sprinkler what, system. You got a sprinkler system today, yeah. Yes. I paid for somebody to do that, not me. Yeah, right. I know. I don't blame you. That's, that's young man's work. And I have to work for FFA. I got a project I got to do for next month. So I'm a little behind on the seam rippers, but I'm still making them. Well, and you guys are something else because he told me, he says, let me get a whole bunch made up so we're ready for Christmas. And then I talked about the seam rippers and the necklaces and everything. And within three days, whew, you guys cleaned us out. <laughs> now there'll be eight, hopefully eight necklaces over there out tomorrow. I got them all cut. Ready to go. Yeah, so it's October 22nd, uh, 2021. So if you see this video a year and some from now, you, you know, just kind of take that into consideration. But uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please, if you see us, one or the both of us together, stop. Come on over to the All Brands booth. It's the great big red tents right by the American flag. And there is going to be a meet and greet area for you guys to come and say hi and get pictures and Keith and I will both be in there throughout the day coming and going and everything. A lot of people are going to be there. Angela Wolf will be there from It's So Easy TV on PBS. Reen Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden. Uh, there's just going to be uh, so many people there, uh, brother ambassadors. It's, it's really going to be a lot of fun at the show and we are, we are really looking forward to it. So. And we'll see you there. I'm gone. Okay. Bye, babe. Okay, so he just stepped out, took the dogs with him, and now I can get into chit-chatting with you. He's so fun. We're having a ball doing this. All right, so lots going on here. Like I said, I am up to here getting ready for the show. So what I'm going to be demoing at the Quilt Festival in Houston is a software called Simply Applique. And if you've been watching me for any length of time or you've gone back and looked at some of my older videos, I had originally talked about this at one time. And All Brands has asked me to do demos of Simply Applique. And I said, sure, I'd love to. So I decided to do some applique projects from Count On It. And if you're not familiar with Simply Applique, it is a software program. It's very inexpensive. If you have BES4, you already have what Simply Applique can do because Simply Applique is a module of BES4. 
But what it does is it fully automates the applique process. So you can take a paper pattern and I made copies of the pattern pages inside of this book. I made copies of them and then because they're like a couple of designs all at one time, then I just traced out what I needed on a sheet of paper. Let me see if I've got one here where it, I did that. Yeah, or you know, if you've got, oh, I did, here's where I did, uh, so there's the five, okay? And I traced this out and then you can scan this into the Brother Scan and Cut and the Scan and Cut will create a file that will import into Simply Applique or BES4. And you can put it on the screen, that file that comes from the Scan and Cut, either from the machine or from the Brother Canvas cloud. And you hit Convert to Applique. I mean, one button. Honestly, it is that simple. One button, and it will create a placement stitch, a tack down stitch, and a final stitch, whether it's satin or a blanket or something like that. And motif, it does all kinds of different things. And I love that program because I love applique quilting, but I'm not a fan of stitch, stitch, stop, turn, stitch, turn, st uh, stop. It, I just, I don't have the patience for that. And I love to machine embroider. So it's a combination of both and it's amazing. So I just finished this one. Let me see if I can move this without it falling apart. So here it is. This is the one for Halloween. This is the October little quilt that comes in the book. And I made a three and a one. And you guys, I had so much fun. I went to the quilt shop this week to go get some fabric to make my numbers and whatnot. And uh, I went to Scrappy Quilter in Shirts, Texas. That's my local quilt shop. And I was able to get some yardage from Corey Yoder's new line called Cozy Up. Oh, I love that line of fabric. I've got a bunch of it coming from the Fat Quarter shop too. I ordered a Fat Quarter bundle. There was one piece of fabric in that line. It was like a blue background with some pretty flowers. That was it for me. I was like, I want that because of that fabric. I bought the whole quilt bundle or the Fat Quarter bundle. The quilt shop had this pattern called Fields of Green and they made this quilt. It's hanging up in the quilt shop and it's just gorgeous and they made it up with, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this camera thing. And they made this quilt with that line, cozy up from Corey Yoder. Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And look how simple that is. Pretty easy quilt there. So I have been busy, busy making this. I've got my Halloween one is finished and tomorrow I'm going, so my numbers are all cut for the show and I have all of the backgrounds. Let me move this. I have all the backgrounds made for the numbers. I just need to get them stitched on and it's just so much fun. Oh my gosh. And it goes so quick. So I finished this one and I'm doing, I'm going to do Santa with Christmas on tw for 25 and I'm going to do a snowman with a one for January 1st. So I think that's just going to be adorable and I'm just going to put them out on the stage in front of me just to show you guys exactly what Simply Applique can do and let you get up close and take a look at how precise the stitching is. It's much better than I could do on my own, I promise. Oh, I wanted to thank one of my viewers, Karen, she gave a fabulous idea. She said, I was talking about doing the freestanding lace angels in two videos ago, not this last one, but two videos ago. And she said she puts mylar in her freestanding lace. And I thought that was a fabulous idea. Let me put this over here where you can see it. I'm just gonna put the lace on, the angel on top of it. See how it sparkles? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Could you imagine doing that? I'm never doing another piece of freestanding lace without that mylar in it. It would look amazing in snowflakes and angels and anything else that you wanted to do. And I've heard somebody ask, what is mylar? All mylar is, is iridescent plastic. And you can get it in the gift wrap section at the dollar store. 
or you'll see they have it at Hobby Lobby, they have it at Walmart. I don't know where I got this, but I think I got it at Dollar General and it cost me, I don't know, a couple bucks. You guys, this stuff works great. It stitches great. And then uh, whatever you've got around the outside of your freestanding lace, it'll just tear right off because of all the perforations from the needle punctures in it. And I think that's a glorious idea. I absolutely love it. Can you just see this? these gorgeous angels sparkling uh, with the lights coming through them and your Christmas tree? How pretty is that? So, great idea. Thank you, Karen. I just love this. You guys put comments and you come up with the best things. I love it. All right. So they had a spooky box reveal. This is from the Fat Quarter Shop, and I had told you guys, a lot of you got it, and I had told you guys I would reveal it when I was allowed to. This is stuff just to cuten up your, just to cuten, is that a word? Just to make your sewing room a little bit cuter. So it comes with uh, seven Fat Quarters from Maywood Studios. This is Hometown Halloween, and this is what the candy corn quilt shop is made from. It's got a lot of the same fabrics in it. So there's seven fat quarters in here. And that I wanted to keep all this. I'm not giving this away. So just letting you guys know. The value on that was $21.98. It came with an adorable little storage box that you, you know, just big enough to keep things in. They want to roll around. And inside of the storage box is a little bookmark. And it's got... It's real cute. It's metal and it's got centimeter measures on it, 10 centimeters. Yeah, and it's got a spider web in the in the head of it there. So there's 10 centimeters and it's beautifully engraved on the back. It's so pretty and it's metal. I'll probably keep it next to the sewing machine for a measuring guide. This is one of those rings you can wear and this one I believe is glow in the dark and it has black. And I've got a couple of them. I have one mounted on the front of my long arm to cut the thread there. And you can put these on the side of your sewing machines. Of course, there are thread cutters on sewing machines already. But these are just nice to have to wear on your finger and you can just cut threads, especially if you're crafting. These are very, very handy. It came with a mini stash and store. I don't have one of these and I'm just loving that I got this one. It says Fat Quarter Shop on it and it's one of those little stash and stores that you can just put your, you know, put your goodies in so they stand up right next to your sewing machine and you've got them where you need them. I know you guys have seen Pat Sloan use that before, but that is so handy. My scissors always take off. And so that's kind of cool. Will it hold the stash, the scissors? Yeah, and the scissors stand up right in there. How about that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, these are pretty neat. And this one on the other side, it says Spooky Box Exclusive. So very, very cute. I like this. I don't know if this glows in the dark or what, but that's pretty cool. You can take this liner out and wash it because you know that's going to get dusty down in there. And then to make a quilt, you got a pattern called Hocus Pocus. And that is super cute that you could use that fabric for to make that pattern. So very nice. You know, just a little something fun. Sewing room. It's an adorable little box. From Villa Rosa Designs. I'm on her email list. She had some fabric. I fell in love with it right off the bat. It is called Coffee Chalk. And I got the panel. I just thought it was so cute. It's to make little placemats or wall hanging pieces or something like that. Here, let me move you, Mr. Bat. You move over there, there we go. So that's real cute, isn't it? Coffee chalk. They're a little small to be placemats, but they're certainly the right size to have a cup and a plate and a Danish, <laughs> right? Gosh, I haven't had a Danish in years. I need to change that. You know, I quit eating all this bread, the wheat, and I try to stay on it, and you guys know how hard that is. I don't know, I'm just kind of going through this, testing what I can eat and seeing what's going on. Right now, lactose is rearing its ugly head. It might be something in that, I don't know. But it seems that no matter what I cut out of my diet, I'm still not losing any weight. I don't know why. Oh. 
Coffee chalk. Let's get back to that instead of me talking about my weight. All right. So adorable. I thought this would be a real cute backing. I just really liked this. Just loved it. I thought it was just adorable. And then a binding. Whatever I'm going to do, I got these swirls for the binding. So just, I, you know, it's not a holiday thing. I wanted something that was not going to be a holiday thing. I'm wearing my Creative Notions t-shirt, so you know that means we have a Creative Notions box reveal. I just love this one. It has got adorable sewing fabric in it. Let's see. Six fat quarters plus one half yard of beautiful sewing fabric. Comes with patterns to make sewing uh, a sewing machine cover and some other goodies. So in here we have sewing machine and notions. I need to back this out a little bit. I'm a little close so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay. Sewing machine and notions. That's nice. This looks like strips of washi tape and buttons. That's very pretty. We have sewing words. And we have stitches on teal. That's nice. And we have thread spools, buttons and flowers. And we have loose threads on navy. Very pretty stuff, very pretty. You get the pattern, sewing machine cover. I got thread rolling around. Hold on a minute here, where are you going? There's too much stuff here. I'm, I've got a load of fat quarters right up here, guys, because I'm making parts and pieces for all of these applique quilts that I'm doing here. So I've just got them kind of stacked. I've got a border wall of fat quarter bundles. <laughs> so you can make a sewing machine cover and an ironing station cover. So that's really nice. They give you the patterns for both of those. That's nice. And let's see what else. Of course, you get an adorable little Halloween suite. That's cute. You get a spool of Guterman thread. You can also, if you don't want to make that, you can make, if you don't want to make the sewing machine cover, you can make a Sew Daisy pillow. So they go, they gave you a pattern to make a Sew Daisy um, pillow or a table runner. Lots and lots of options. I uh, am deathly afraid of round stitching, so I won't be doing this. <laughs> I've seen all kinds of videos on how to do it, you guys, but whenever I see around something, I'm like, nope, I'm going back over here. That's not my thing. We got 10 yards of quarter inch elastic. That's to snug up that uh, ironing board cover underneath. We have six yards of cord trim. That will make you some very nice piping. We got a Singer decorative magnet. We got three yards of Rick Rack to make a jewel sampler quilt pattern. That came with it. And you get the curved block. There are instructions on how to use that, how to make that curved block. And then also in this month of jewel sampler quilt, there is bear paw, a bear paw pattern. So that came with it too. You also got a lot of stuff in here. You also got the nine and a half inch square of ruler. Nice and big. That's why they're coming in a box now instead of the bag. Nine and a half inch square of ruler. I love that, that Vicki is sending these in this year's boxes because the quilt I'm making with the hustle and bustle fabric called Christmas in the City, I had to square up all of those blocks to four and a half inches. And it was so nice to have a four and a half inch ruler to do that with. It just made it go so quick. It was really, really nice to have that. And then you also got some yardage of Insel Bright for your ironing board cover. So well, that's great. All, everything you need from the thread, Insel Bright, everything. Pattern, fabric, cord, plastic, whole nine yards. You got it all. Very cool. My Gypsy, my new NQ3700D, the brother uh, sewing embroidery combo that's going in the motorhome, she's going to need a cover. So, perfect. Let's see if I can get to that. 
<laughs> you guys email me, hey, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy, crazy. All right, what else? Oh, if you are a member of the, or if you're a subscriber to the Creative Notions monthly box or bag, you get a coupon in here for 15% off anything you buy at Creative Notion. So they have a lot of fabric and uh, goodies on their website too. So you get 15% off that. So that's nice, right? Get a little discount there. Okay, Designs by Juju's, that fall table runner. Well, I just got in the fabric kit from Reb's Fab Stash to make the nativity table runner. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I'll put a link below to this. It's just the fabric. There's no pattern that comes with it. You have to get the pattern from Designs by Juju and I'll link to that below as well. So, oh, if you guys are wondering, where did I get the wire frames for this? Okay. This is from a company, whoop, it came apart. This is from a company called Ackfeld Wire. And, whoops. Ackfeld Manufacturing, handcrafted wire. This is it right here. And they have a lot of things in this catalog that I saw and I was like, ooh, I oohed and odd over all of this. They just have a ton of these little things that they make and there's all different kinds of hoops and stuff y'all i'm not an affiliate for them i just i've used their products before in my little wall hangings and the birth announcement and all of that stuff good company shipping is fairly quick it was two or three days so yeah i'm pretty happy with it i ordered this less than a week ago i ordered three sets of these for the uh for the quilt show because i'm doing october December and January. November's is just a couple of oak leaves with acorns. I was kind of hoping for a turkey. I guess I could put a turkey on one of these, right? I mean, if I could scan one in, why not? Could do that. Okay, so I promised to give away in the title of the video, and here it is. So up behind me, Candy Corn Quilt Shop. Nearly finished. I still have to get some embellishments done. I'm dragging my feet on that because my glue gun hates me. We, we have a love-hate relationship, mostly hate. So I'm still trying to get all those embellishments on there. I really hope I get it done before we leave. But I think this might be my last video before we leave. But anyway, I am giving away a fabric kit for Candy Corn Quilt Shop. This is only the fabric. The pattern is not in here and the embellishment kit is not in here. I want to thank Lady M, my generous benefactor of the channel, for giving this to me to give away to you. She is an absolute angel. And so anyway, she gave this to me and I am offering it up to you guys. So if you are interested, this is all this fabric. Fabric for one quilt top with borders and binding. It's one and a half yards backing required to finish. So the backing is not included. And featured fabric plus Kimberbell's complements silky cotton solids and Kimberbell basics. It's pretty heavy. There's a lot in here. If you want it, leave a comment below this video. Don't send me an email and don't put it on the Facebook group. But please join the Facebook group. We're over 11,000 members and there's a lot of creativity and inspiration there. Leave a comment below this video by October 26th, Tuesday, the day before we leave for Houston by 5 p.m. Central Time and I will choose a winner. I will announce the winner in the Facebook group and on the blog because I my blog, PowerToolsWithThread.com. The Facebook group is Power Tools with Thread. You can uh, look in the description box below and that's where you'll find everything. All of my info, every, all of that stuff. There's always stuff below there. So anyway, all right, you guys, that's it. If you want to win this Candy Corn Quilt Shop fabric kit, no pattern, no embellishments, all right? But if you would like to do that, just leave a comment below and I will link to where you can get the pattern 
below as well and that way you can get the CD for the em embroidery design or the sewing one whichever one you want if I can find it okay all right you guys that's it wish me luck at the show if you are there please come up say hi let's get pictures let's visit I can't wait to meet you guys I will talk to you soon go sew something bye